Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, I hope everyone's having a good day. I don't know if you can notice, but it's actually snowing out and it looks so pretty. Uh, I don't think it's gonna last, but this is New England. So one minute we could have flurries and the next minute it'll be like, I don't know, like 45, 50 degrees. So that's, that's just the way it rolls here. So anyway, so it's day two of um, Oversized Sweaters Week, and I love an exaggerated look. I mean, honestly, like, look, I mean, that's why my hair is the color of something that's not found in nature. Uh, this red, you know, it's definitely exaggerated, but also oversized sweaters, exaggerated, right? Um, but this one takes the cake because it's also got this oversized, exaggerated cowl neck, which I absolutely love. So this sweater, I wear this all, all, all year round because it's a really cute sweater for a lot of different looks. This can be used as a cowl or you can do it as off the shoulder, which also looks really cute. And I have this in another color, I have it in a gray. And if you look back at some of my pictures, you'll see it. Um, I uh, put it together with a maxi dress, looks super cute. So, you know, during the, the warmer days, I wear this as more of an off the shoulder, show off the, the shoulders a little um, and then obviously in the winter it's just too cold to show off the shoulders so I wear it as a cowl and um, I love this so much with so many different looks but I decided to um, pair it with you know a very classic New England look which is the skinny jeans and boots so uh, you know, this is these are some awesome Levi's Mile High skinnies that I absolutely adore. Super comfortable, super skinnies. So the best thing about a super skinny, let me go into skinnies for for just a minute. So as it starts to snow more, uh, super skinny and skinny are two different things. So a skinny jean is a jean that is pretty skinny but does not, um, you know grab at your ankle it's not something that you know is you know uh, as tight around your ankle or your calf um, it kind of it's tight up in the top and goes down the thighs and then it kind of just tapers and isn't a complete like super skinny that's why they call it a super skinny so that it will you know grab every part of your um, your legs including your ankles and I can't show it to you now, right now, obviously, but um, I'm sure if you've seen super skinnies, yeah, they're very, very tight to the ankle. And that's what's really good for a boot. Uh, if you have a skinny, most of the time a skinny will fit into a boot, but if your boot is pretty tight, then it's not going to sit as nicely inside of the boot as a super skinny. So that's a tip for today with skinnies and boots. Remember, if you are looking for a jean that's going to be that boot jean to go for a super skinny. And they stretch, so they have like really good jeans that stretch out and stuff, so they don't feel uncomfortable, like too tight around your, your calf or ankle. So that's one of my tips. Uh, and, you know, uh, other than that, this is a pretty like classic look for a New England girl like me. And so I wanted to show you guys how to add a coat to this for going out. And with this kind of, you know, cowl neck, with this amount of fabric, it's gonna be hard to put it inside of a, you know, like a shorter puffer like I was wearing yesterday. It's gonna need more room so that this doesn't become really super tight on you and uncomfortable. So I grabbed one of my jackets um, to show you what it would look like um, that wouldn't be too uncomfortable. This has a nice tight arm all the way through, so that helps. So it'll fit into a classic arm. Um, and you know, if it were a dolman sleeve where it came like down, out, out, down like that, could be a little um, uncomfortable to put in with a regular like jacket or coat. Uh, but this one's nice and tight. So what I grabbed is I thought this, this, this outfit definitely needs something more along the lines of, you know, like a print or something, something fun because it's, you know, like I said, it's classic, but you know, let's, let's, let's punch it up a little. So I grabbed here I come. my, oh my God, what? No. <laughs> I grabbed my Sherpa leopard coat 
that I absolutely adore. Super, super warm for this. So I'm going to show you without the the, um, the uh, scarf first. So as you can see, comes up in, in this one buttons. So it, it's a magnetic button, which isn't bad, but they tend to pop out. It's one thing that I that I have problem with with this jacket. Um, because they're not like super strong in that sense but you do still have an open neck super cold right so want to add a little pop of color right stick that inside a little and then you've got a whole different look to your outfit and just think when you take off the top your, your coat you're gonna have this adorable like cowl underneath. It'll be a little messy, but you can fix up. So I suggest with an oversized sweater like this, you're gonna to wanna to go with a coat that isn't going to be a zip up because the worst thing, I absolutely hate this, is when I get clothing caught in my zippers for my jackets, drives me insane. So uh, these kind of jackets where you have just a button and you can choose the, the size of it. You can go super tight if you wanted to. I usually like to go a little less tight on these and it's kind of like a swing coat. And uh, yeah, I think it really, it uh, changes the look of, of the outfit obviously, but you got two, two cute looks in one. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, I, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to drop them down in the comments or DM me if you have any questions. But um, I am looking forward to more of this week and I hope that this whole thing with the light coat, showing you how to add a coat to it to style it, I hope that helps. Um, let me know if it does because I'd love to keep doing it. It's, it's something that's pretty important for winter style. So have a great day and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.